Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford here with Anthony Austin. More than 50 million Americans expected to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. And Heather, that's just in the next 24 hours. Some will go by airplane, but most will hit the road. Both of us saw a lot of people on the road as we headed to work today. I-95 was packed as we came to work, and this is a live look right now. This is how traffic looks at this hour on I-95 in Jacksonville. It's moving sm uh, smoothly right there. We have seen some slowdowns, though, across the city. And anyone flying out may be heading through Atlanta, and this is what the world's busiest airport looked like earlier today. Lines of people. That's kind of what it looks like to me every day, uh, <laughs> in my opinion. But yeah. On your side, Rich Donnelly is driving tonight along I-95 to give us a live look at the current road conditions. Rich, how is it out there right now? Well, Heather, I've got to say as much as I am similar to other holiday travelers, I got a late start on my road trip tonight. So I'm actually on MLK Parkway on my way to I-95. But I got to say at this time of day, considering rush hour could be conditions, conditions are great. Uh, recently, we have seen a little congestion along some of the roadways, but nothing terrible. Earlier today, we did see a steady stream of traffic heading through Jacksonville, both directions, north and south along I-95. Plenty of people heading both directions for the holiday. Now, we also caught up with a few of the drivers in Georgia who were heading north for Thanksgiving weekend, and they were each surprised by how smooth their ride was on I-95. The road conditions were good. There yeah. wasn't as much traffic as we thought there was going to be. That's true. 95 is always busy and didn't seem much different than normal. Not too bad. It's, it was a little bit around Tampa, a little bit of traffic, you know, a little bit coming out of Jacksonville, but it's opened up and, and not been too bad. So we're living our own version of the movie Planes, Trains and Automobiles today. Coming up at 530, we'll have another live update of road conditions as people really begin their holiday travel. We'll also check in with some travelers at the airport, the highway and train stations. Certainly plenty of ways to reach your loved ones this holiday season. Reporting live, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. 